Hello, so I just went and saw The Northman, as you may have guessed from the title of this video, uh, and it's extremely good. Yeah, like, I've been seeing a lot of different reviewers say that it's a very good movie uh, over the past couple of days, and I just wanted to be another one of them. Uh, cause, partially because it's an original film, and I hope it does well so that we'll see more original films, but at the same time, it's a Viking film, and there's just so many freaking Viking things coming out lately, and I feel like they're going to learn all the wrong lessons from this and just make more Viking stuff, but I don't know. The point is, it's a very good movie. Um, it's not an action film, uh, which you may have gotten the impression that it is from the trailers, and th there are some action scenes in it, and they're pretty good, but it's not that at all. In fact, in terms of the vibes and atmosphere, it's more of a horror movie. Uh, but overall, yeah, it's just the tale of this young Viking lad uh, who lost his family when he was a kid, and when he's an adult, he goes off for revenge, and he goes after some evil dudes, but rather than just going up and killing them, he decides to ruin his whole life first, and it's it's interesting, because um, he's basically just going around at night and killing people, and then mutilating their bodies and stuff, and it it's very interesting, it's disturbing as well, but it's supposed to be, you know, the main character of this movie's an awful person, but, uh, you, know, you know, it's, he's, uh, an interesting character, there, that's what I was trying to go with, because, uh, e even if a protagonist isn't necessarily likable, they can be, um, fun to follow, interesting to follow, so I'm glad they just went with that, because I think if they tried to tell this story in a similar way, but they made the main character a good guy, it would not have been nearly as good. Um, <clears throat> obviously, acting and cinematography and everything is great. Um, I don't think there's any performances that really stand out, but they're all pretty solid. Uh, and story-wise, I will say I wish it was a bit shorter, because I know I've said similar things a lot, but it's because people just refuse to edit down their shit nowadays, whether it's books or movies. Uh, but particularly with movies, it's just... Any time I see a runtime of over two hours, I think, okay, they could probably have told the same story in, like, an hour 45. And usually that's correct. Uh, in this case, uh, this movie's two hours, 17 minutes. I think you could have cut out maybe 10 minutes, so it's not too bad. Like, there's one scene that I would say you could have cut out entirely and we didn't need it. But then there's a couple other scenes that could have just been trimmed in editing a bit. And that's an important thing to keep in mind. So... Seriously, when you get to something and you think it's done, ask yourself if you can cut it down by 5 to 10%. And that really forces you to think about what's important there. And the Northmen, yeah, the, there's just scenes that we didn't really need it explained in dialogue. We could have figured out what was going on on our own. You know, we just, we just didn't need that. And I don't know, I, I just, my patience for long movies is getting thinner and thinner with every day. Or with every one that I watch, rather. But, uh, yes, Northman, good movie. Pretty disturbing, so if you're not into extreme violence and stuff like that, I wouldn't watch it. But overall, yeah, very, very good movie. I enjoyed it. Don't have a lot else to say. Thank you.